Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. Sorry for the camera kind of being on a weird angle. Best I can do for this moment in time. This video is not going to be very long. As you can see, I'm in my car, just finished work. And um, I'm sure people are going to know, well, you can probably tell by the title, um, with what I'm possibly going to be talking about. Um, I'm a bit disconcerted, there's a bit of, I'm a bit unsure of how I'm going to continue with YouTube because of this new copper law, or copper, copper, whatever, that has just been introduced, well, we will be introduced in January 2020, in the new year, and um, from what I can gather with this new law, from what I've seen, videos I've seen, people commenting it from what I can gather from it is this law is still being figured out it's a relatively brand new law it's not been in in service for long um I get why that law is needed I do I honestly do because obviously the reason why this whole thing has happened and and YouTube are kind of going Consult a lawyer. We're not getting involved in this. Um, you know, we don't have any power to, you know, for you to uh, label your videos as not for kids. You know, if you get fined, that's on you. We're rubbing my. We're, we're not going to get involved. Consult a lawyer. That is basically the only thing um, YouTube is stating in their up, update video that the, that their video that they did um, not too long ago. Uh, so a kind of everybody has been left to the wolves pretty much on where this could go anyone like myself or anyone that talks about video games toys whether it's adult collectibles or not it doesn't matter same with video games it doesn't matter same with animation same with certain types of movies such as like Disney movies and things like that if they are necessarily they're just saying it for kids as all of it so things like rick and morty family guy american dad uh G robot chicken things like that is not really meant for kids it's adult programming that happens to be animated and this new this copper law still has a lot of ironing out um it still has a lot of um it's tripping over itself really you know things have changed over the years Animation doesn't necessarily mean it's for kids, just for kids. Animation is for everybody. Um, same with video games. Video games, there's some 18 rated video games. Stuff that's not for kids, really. Um, even though kids are definitely playing them. Because I remember when I was a kid, I was picking up... Um, my parents, on my behalf, would pick me up Grand Theft Auto and everything like that like years ago when i was only about 12 or 13 years old so we've all done it we've uh, you know parents have bought uh age restricted games for people which isn't right it is against the law but it has been done um so it's it's a very difficult thing to kind of comprehend with the future of my channels because my TF Nolsey channel is pretty much, nearly all the videos on that channel are, are mostly toy reviews. And they are on Transformers, which Transformers is a kid's toy line. Um, I have spoken about other more for adult toy lines. Um, I believe I've spoken about NECA stuff in the past. I've spoken about the Rick and Morty toys, uh, Gundam kits, model kits. Yes, they are for kids, but I would say they're for a bit more of a mature kid, more of like a teen rather than a child because of uh, small parts, you know, they could choke on things that might snap off. So they're not really meant for little kids, they're meant for more teens. So my channel consists of majority stuff that they would say this is for kids and I could end up with massive fines per video and it could be stupid money like 40 odd well they're saying in dollars for like $42,000 per video if they feel that you're not going about the law properly um so I'm thinking from January 
if things don't don't start to improve and the law hasn't really been because apparently what i've been told is the ftc whatever the the, the people that are running this that, that are behind this new law copper law um they are actually taking people's opinion and answering questions for people that are unsure so i would have a google search around and see if it can maybe have a conversation with the um you know have a conversation uh with the ftc and just see if they can somehow change it a little bit so that they can see that there is a, a deviation when it comes to animation when it comes to collecting toys when it comes to certain things like video games etc animation what have you anything like that there has to be some sort of deviation in there because not all of it is for kids so i'm not gonna say i'm, I'm finishing youtube because not at this point anyways, I'm going to wait until January when this new law finally kicks in. If I start to see that people are starting to get right off the bat, starting to get really big penalty fines, then I may consider closing my TF Nosey channel and my, um, no, my TF Nosey channel. Um, I am actually thinking of closing my actual main channel and just going as a vlogger. I know people will be like, oh, Nosy, why are you going to go as a vlogger? You know, vlog YouTube channels don't, aren't very good. You know, the quality suffers sometimes. But that is the only way I can still continue to make videos that I know and love without talking about toys. There's nothing in this copper law that says we can't do vlogs because it's not relating to anything that is child friendly in in the same way as what they're stating now i could be completely wrong with that and by all means comment below let me know whether i'm wrong whether i'm i'm going down the right road or not but i am actually considering and just keeping my john Knowles vlogs channel up and this one that you're watching this video on right now i'm actually considering and keeping this channel open and if issues start to arise around people that do videos on toys and things like that, on animation, on films, what have you, I am going to completely just get rid of my TF Nosy channel and I'm going to keep my vlog channel open. Anything that's on my vlog channel that I've spoken about that is toy related, such as unboxings, things like that, I will be deleting. So that it's just going to be me talking about stuff, going places. It's just going to be an actual just vlog only channel. That is the only way I can really think that I can actually continue doing YouTube without getting fined. Um, at this moment in time. Until the FTC come out with statements or YouTube start to follow up some sort of changes in the new year. That is the only way I can continue doing the videos that I, I've been doing for so long. Yes, I might lose some subscribers. Yes, I might lose uh, a lot of interesting friends that I've met over the years. Um, you know, because not everybody's going to be interested in checking out the same content all the time. Um, I understand that. But that is the only way that I can continue doing my hobby and the thing that I know and love and enjoy. That is the only way I can, at the moment, with think that the way things are going, the uncertainty about everything with YouTube, that is the only thing that I know I can possibly get away with not being fined. Um, because vlogs, yes, depending on the nature of the vlog, um, anybody can check out that video. But end of the day, they're, they're more or less concerting stuff around kid stuff that would be deemed as for children, for kids, such as anything from the ages of, say, the age of, of I don't know, zero years old to the age of 13, which is at the American ages. But here in the UK, I believe it's 16. Um, I believe, uh, obviously, being a child is 16. Over 16, you're deemed essentially an adult. So I think here in the UK it's, it's going to be 16 years old where the whole kid-friendly stuff will cut off. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know what more I can say on this, folks. I really don't. I'm, 
I can see people are starting to panic. I can still people people have been calm and just having a joke around saying, Oh my channel I've I've changed it not for kids, let's wait for the fines to come in and all that a certain Mr Dave Mintz put that up on Facebook not too long ago. There's but the problem is this is a serious situation and this could bankrupt thousands if not millions of people that are on the service. And I'm not just stating that. I'm not just saying that just to be over dramatic. That is the truth. There's millions of users on YouTube constantly uploading stuff. And I understand there has to be certain measures in place in order to control certain stuff, certain material. And I understand that certain kids and that kids shouldn't be uh, experiencing certain things. They should. There should be age restricted stuff on YouTube. I completely agree. There's been, you know, we live in very un uncertain times at the moment with things like, you know, these bloody mass shootings that's been happening on, on like that has been streamed on the in on the on the internet and kids have seen it. You know, the whole thing in New in uh, New Zealand, um, the whole mass shooting in New Zealand and other mass shootings in America that that have been streamed online through Facebook, through Twitter, or through YouTube. I understand these changes have to be have to come in some point, but the only reason why this copper law has come in with YouTube is because they were fined about one hundred and sixty million dollars because they were apparently getting information from child friendly videos or family friendly videos without consisting the without the authority of the of the 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 parents. So they were essentially sifting very, they were sh very shifty and very, uh, very wrong in what they were doing. And the FTC fined YouTube a massive amount of money. And that is why they are crapping themselves. YouTube are shitting themselves at the moment because of the state of the, because of being fined so much money so they are now rubbing their hands and just leaving everybody on that used the surface to the root to the wolves and saying right this is your problem if you get fined we're not going to help you consist a lawyer that is what they're saying and i am very very concerned for my well for my well-being i mean i'm hoping that this will not happen i'm hoping there will be some deviation in change as i've mentioned a few times in this video but anyway so i'm gonna come to an end now and i wanted to make this little vlog just to let you guys know of the changes that i might start to implement if things start to go really badly for people on youtube when this new thing comes in in january um, I am really considering on deleting every channel that has anything that I'm a part of that has anything to do with child friend and the, the, that is family friendly material and I'm actually thinking that maybe the the vlog channel this channel is the only way I can continue doing videos but we will see we will see you never know, I might be able to still keep my TF Nosy channel. I hope I can. I've worked really hard on that channel. Yeah, I know I'm going to get people saying, oh, for Christ's sake, I've worked so hard. I work so hard on anime, uh, editing my videos. I work so hard on putting my videos out there and put, you know. But I have, I don't care about what any sort of uh, negativity I might get with saying that. I really don't. But I have worked a lot, I've done. I've been on YouTube now for about maybe 13 years in total. Uh, this channel has been up for 10 years. I started back in 2009, 2010 on my TF Nosy channel. And it is now 2019. So I've been on YouTube. This channel's been up for 10 years. So it's very difficult. Not I'm, I mean, I don't get paid. I don't get monetized. So it's not really going to it's not really going to be a problem for me because I don't get paid anyways. But I feel for those that do have monetization that do get paid for their videos and have lots and lots of subscribers and they have they rely on Patreon support and also through uh, advertisements and so on and so forth through the videos. It's those people that are going to suffer the most. But us small creators again 
are going to suffer with possibly getting big fines if we don't follow the rules properly. So that is what's really concerning me. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you can understand my reasoning for making this video. And I will be continuing to make my vlogs. And I will still make a couple more videos on my TF Naughty channel uh, up until the new year. And then see how things go. See if there's any sort of uh, back and forth with YouTube. with the Because obviously the whole FTC thing, that's copper law... It isn't a refined law. It's still been, it's still been looked at. It's still been, uh, you know, looked into. So I hope we, I hope things work out better for us. But we'll see. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.